Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 says, Praying always with all prayers and supplication for all sins. It is very important for us to understand that we need to pray always. In other places, the Bible says pray without ceasing. And um, prayer is so important that the Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. You are welcome to this edition of Miracles of Prayers. Prayer is the most important ingredient in the soup of miracles. Anybody who wants to enjoy the flow of miracles in his or her life must learn to pray. But in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, we are told that we should pray with all prayers. This means that there are different types of prayers and there are different ways to pray. But the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 that we should engage in all types of prayers and we should use all manner of ways to pray. And so in today's episode, I want to talk about the need for us to speak in tongues when we are praying. Praying in the spirit. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 tells us, pray in your most holy faith praying in the spirit. We need to understand that speaking in tongues is an evidence of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes upon them in the book of Acts chapter 2, the Bible says the Spirit filled that place where they were sitting and they were all filled with the Spirit and they began to speak with tongues as the Spirit gives them utterance. Speaking in tongues is still the evidence of the baptism of the Holy Spirit till now. Because on that day, the Holy Spirit left heaven. You know, before the day of Pentecost in the upper room, the Holy Spirit visits the earth and goes back. But on the day of Pentecost, when he came, he came to dwell among us. It was not like that in the Old Testament. All the Old Testament saints God visited by the Holy Spirit, and after the Holy Spirit have used them, the Holy Spirit goes back. The Holy Spirit never dwells in them. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 36 from verse 24, you are going to read the promise of the Father that in those days, God said, I will put my spirit on them. I will remove from them the heart of flesh, the heart of stone. I will remove the heart of stone from them and I'm going to give them the heart, a new heart. You see, I will put my spirit in them. This is the promise. In Joel chapter 2 from verse 28, the promise was retreated. And the promise that he said, in the last days, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. This is the promise of God for the end time. We're in the end time, we're in the last days. So it was on the day of Pentecost that the Spirit of God was poured upon all flesh. They saw him, they heard him, they felt him when he was coming. He came in, in that upper room, like a rushing mighty wind. And the Holy Spirit divided himself among among them and sat upon each and every one of them like a cloven tongue of fire. And they began to speak with tongues. From that day forward, the Holy Spirit did not go back to heaven, but he continued to dwell among men. So today, when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, you are not going to hear a noise like a mighty rushing wind anymore because that mighty rushing wind announced is coming. He's already here. He's not going to come here anymore. He is already here with us. And so when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, you may not see a cloven tongue of fire anymore because he's already here among us. And so what we just need to do right now 
When we are being baptized with the Holy Spirit, we need to, by faith, begin to speak with tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance. Sometimes when some people get baptized in the Holy Spirit, some emotions are involved. Some other times, emotions are not involved. But what really matters is that in, as in every blessing of God, it is taken by faith. When you got born again, you got born again. When you had the word of God, you got, you got born again by faith. You received the word of God by faith and you believed in your heart that God has forgiven you your sin and now you are a son of God. Everything was done by faith. So it is with every blessing of God. There is no blessing of God that does not come by faith. You receive all the blessing by one act, and that is the act of faith. You believe by faith, and you receive by faith. That is exactly how we receive the Holy Spirit. When hands are laid on us, we believe that the Holy Spirit has come upon us. Sometimes we feel it, and sometimes we don't. Either we feel it or not. The fact remains that when hands are laid on us to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit comes on us. We need to believe it. And the utterance come. The Spirit is not going to speak. We are the ones that we speak. He gives us the utterance, but we must speak it. And so speaking in tongues is a powerful way of praying. You see, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, you know, Paul was teaching about the importance of speaking in tongues. He said, I will speak in, in the spirit. I will speak also in understanding. I will sing in the spirit. I will sing also in understanding. He said, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but he speaketh unto God. And those things which he speaks, they are mysteries. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. When you speak in the Spirit, when you speak with tongues, you are speaking in an unknown tongue, you are speaking mysteries. And it is very, very important. And it is very, very powerful. When you pray in the Spirit, you are speaking some mysteries, some powerful things concerning your life, concerning your future. They are things that no man can understand. Not even the devil understands it. When you speak in the spirit, the devil is confused. When you speak in tongues, the devil is bamboozled. So you must learn to speak in tongues. You must learn to pray in the spirit. You must pray in the spirit every day. When you pray in the spirit, you generate power. Many times when people come to me that I should pray for them, as I begin to speak in the spirit, God opens their life to me. I begin to see some of the problems of their life when I speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues, you know, get you the result. When you pray in the Spirit by speaking in tongues, you get more result. So today, the Bible, God is telling us we must pray with all prayers and supplication. One of the prayers, that is included in all prayer is praying in the spirit, speaking with tongues. It is very, very important when you speak with tongues. You see, it is very powerful when you speak with tongues. So today, God is saying to you, if you are not baptized with the Holy Spirit, I speak to your life right now. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Li shali posoto kaliamba. Rigedi geluma sinderi kalingo suyeli. Rigezu tu korolo masinde. Let your thong be loosed in the name of Jesus. Receive the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you. The spirit of prayer take over you right now. In the name of Jesus, it is done. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. I believe you enjoyed this episode. God bless you. 
Next episode tomorrow is going to be wonderful. Please be on the lookout. Thank you. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.